something we often do with taxonomic trees is we explicitly write out the different traits that have been used to develop the tree. We write them onto the tree. So this case study will use primates to show how we use traits to build trees, but mostly we'll just show how they can be represented on trees graphically. So we'll use subspecies of chimpanzees to build up our tree here. Again, you don't need to memorize all these names, just know there's a bunch of subspecies of chimpanzees and that often within species there are subspecies. And again, it's useful to know that there's debate about species and subspecies, frequently debate about subspecies, less frequently about species, but with chimpanzees, species we've known about for a very long time that we've studied extensively, there's still debate about whether there should be a subspecies here. And then there's even debate, some people argue whether this subspecies over here should become its own separate species. We'll talk about a unique trait to this subspecies that one reason why folks have argued that perhaps it's unique enough to be its own species. And that is because the chimpanzees of Senegal are known to you not just use tools, like many chimpanzees, like many organisms use tools, Primates are especially good at using tools, but the chimpanzees of Senegal, which is the westernmost populations of chimpanzees, the chimpanzees of Senegal actually use spears to hunt other mammals. So they will they'll break off a stick, they will sharpen it, and they will shove it into cre crevices and cracks in attempts to, to kill animals to then eat. So this is a very unique form of hunting that occurs only in this subspecies of chimpanzees and humans. Many animals use tools. All, all chimpanzees use tools with their hands, but only humans and pan troglodytes varus use spears to hunt with. So phylogenies can be useful for helping us to think about and map and organize the relationship between species and subspecies and population. So we'll walk through some of the traits that are help us understand the relationships between these different subspecies of chimpanzees. So we can, we can draw on the tools to indicate when we think approximately when a certain trait evolved and indicate all the all the other all the taxa that possess that trait. So for example, tool use occurs in chimpanzees but not bonobos. So this tree here shows all of the genus Pan, Pan troglodytes and Pan varus. Bonobos are here. Tool use does not occur is not known in bonobos, but it does occur in all forms of pan troglodytes. So we can put a little tool icon, or often it's just a line with, with words here. We can indicate tool use though. And what this means here is that the icon and the words occur here, but what this implies is that all of these other branches, that tool use occurs in all of these other subspecies. It occurs on all these branches. So this trait has been inherited along this branch. It is completely lacking from bonobos. So all of the genus Pan use tools. So bonobos are interesting because bonobos have a very matriarchal relationship here. They are actually, bonobos are actually known for how well they get along and avoid conflict. So Circe Lannister is perhaps not the best icon, but it gets the point across that it is a matriarchal, often a matriarchal structure to their groups, female led. And that's unique to bonobos versus other primates and versus all other, all other in the genus Pan. So we mark matriarchy on this line, and that means that all of the species and subspecies happens to just be one species of bonobo. They all have this trait matriarchy. So while all of these Pan troglodytes use tools, Pan varus is unique in that they have evolved the use of spears, so we can mark this here. The spear occurs here. This means that just uh, Pan troglodytes varus, just the Senegalese uh, group, just only they use spears. 
the all the other groups use tools but not spears. It's interesting to note the geographical relationship here that there is a large gap here. You could hypothesize that this gap didn't exist if tool use, if spear use evolved here that could have been transmitted throughout all the other species. But Pete Varus is not part of this clade of all the other species that occurs here in Central Africa.